What's up friends and welcome to this week's episode of Tutorial Tuesday where we will be going over the weathering of the dagger that we've been working on and uh, this thing is pretty much complete so this will be the final part of this series. Uh, I'll either be doing a, a video about uh, Warbla or a, a location scouting tutorial video for next week's one uh, depends what else comes out so uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button to check out those videos and uh, let's cut to it Alright friends, here we are with the dagger that we've been working on. Uh, last video we went over the painting of the base coat for the entire blade. And now we're going to uh, weather parts of it to give it a more uh, rustic look so that it's not all completely shiny. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a thing called a wash. Which is essentially we just take watered down acrylic paint, we cover the entire area that we want, and then we wipe it away with some paper towel uh, before it fully dries. So we're going to use black paint for the uh, plates, the cross guard, and the pommel. And then we're going to be using a silver for the... Um, the grooves on both the blade and the cross guard and the palm or the handle sorry all right so now we've got our paper towel uh, we've got our watered down paint and we've got our paintbrush uh, a wire paintbrush specifically now this is just black acrylic paint uh, and it has been watered down it will be a little runny um, hard to tell the consistency in the video that you want, but uh, you want to make sure that it does stick to the paintbrush a little bit. It's a little watered down, but not too much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to completely cover the uh, part that we're going to be weathering, which will be the two blade parts first. All right, and essentially what we want to do is uh, we want to cover it in paint and then we're going to take some of the paper towel and wipe away the paint before it fully dries. All right, so let's grab our paintbrush and let's uh, cover the thing in paint. Now we're only going to be doing the plates at the moment as acrylic paint does take, uh, doesn't take does take very long to dry. So you want to make sure that you kind of do this in one section at a time. And make sure that we get absolutely everywhere that we want covered in paint. And then we'll grab our paper towel and we will start wiping away the paint. Uh, now only takes about a minute or so uh, before you want to uh, start wiping the paint away as acrylic paints take like almost no time at all to dry and I uh, use probably want to use paper towel for this as uh, you'll end up using a lot of it and uh, right so yeah now we like I said just start wiping it away Make sure that you have a clean part of paper towel, which is hence why we use multiple sheets for this. <laughs> Alright, and as you can see, we already have the effect that we want on the plates here. Alright, now I have uh, covered the both plates the cross guard and the pommel in uh, we did the wash on all parts of that and now we're going to be moving on to doing the grooves and the handle in a silver color and we're basically going to be doing the same technique 
Now, as you can see, it does give things a nice weathered look to it. It's a little aged. Any, like, little grooves and whatnot, that's kind of what the paint gets into, and that's actually totally okay. It gives a nice effect to the overall blade itself. All right, so now we've got our silver paint and our paintbrush and we will get to be doing the groove on the blade and the same thing you want to cover the entire area in the paint and then you want to give it about a minute or so before you um, start wiping the paint away like I said it takes like no time at all make sure we get our paintbrush cleared off because uh, we don't want dried paint on a paintbrush and same thing just start wiping the paint away And you are probably going to get absolutely covered in paint yourself when you're doing this. So I recommend, you know, having some paint clothes or something afterwards so that if, you know, you're not ruining your favorite clothes when doing this. All right. And now we've got the entire blade uh, done in the, uh, with the wash. So you can see it looks nice. Uh, the blade itself i think kind of pops and as it stayed the solid silver and we did the weather on the cross guard the plates and the pommel and it's a nice little effect now uh before uh one final step that you want to do once you're done with all the detailing and you're satisfied with how it looks is you want to put some kind of clear coat on it to finish the blade and protect the paint job because if you don't uh, the things can stick to the paint and when you go to take them off they you will take the paint with you protect the paint job so it doesn't uh, peel off or uh, get damaged it just overall protects it uh, you could use something like Mod Podge which we used earlier in uh, the priming of this but really any kind of sealant works well Uh, if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, peace out, and we will talk to you guys next week.